Let's talk to uh, Saurabh Gupta. He's a CFO at Dixon Technologies. Saurabh, good morning. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, well, yet another strong quarter, Saurabh. Uh, I'm going to start off with your biggest division here. That's the uh, mobile division. Again, uh, a great amount of business coming through. The, the first question is sustainability. Uh, you know, over the long run, perhaps if we can take a look at uh, a year or so uh, from the outlook, what, is, uh, what would a, a good revenue uh, growth rate assumption be? And secondly, uh, how are you looking at margins spanning out, out here? Do you expect any pressure? We have seen expansion on a year-on-year -year basis, but do you think these margins are also sustainable at these levels? Yeah, so clearly we have a large order book in one of the verticals, mobile, mobile where clearly we are looking to uh, grow from 6.7 million smartphones to almost 28 to 30 million smartphones. Our acquisition of iSmartU is also in the final stages of getting closed. Uh, so that we should start consolidating the numbers for the balance seven and a half, eight months of this financial year. And uh, now the objective is to basically also get deep into manufacturing deepen the level of manufacturing, get into more components for mobiles, uh, the precision components, mechanicals, as well as the display. Display, we have already finalized a technology partner. So overall, uh, by sense, the, the growth outlook looks very positive. We will significantly outperform the industry and our peers. And uh, I don't want to give a particular number to it, but yeah, our best numbers is yet to come. Our quarter two should be even much better than quarter one numbers. Clearly one, because quarter two is always seasonally better quarter. And a lot of our customers uh, in mobile business have actually kind of ramped up now and they will deliver and their volumes will continue to grow for us. All right. Uh, but, uh, you know, so, sort of a, a question on margins as well. Uh, here, are they sustainable at these levels with the kind of orders that, you're, that are coming through? And of course, let's not forget the input environment at the moment. Yeah, so we feel that 4% margins are definitely sustainable and definitely we think we that our focus, our strategy is more into getting into components. And components, though they may be slightly lower as far as asset turns are concerned, but clearly they are very highly on margin uh, on margins. So they're margin equitative, have quicker paybacks for us. So we expect that year on year that uh, that should have a positive impact on the margins and our margins next year can, can potentially grow even on a much higher base of revenues. Right. Saurabh, hi, it's also Samina joining in. Uh, just a quick one on consumer electronics. That business has been subdued this quarter and revenue is degrown by 3%. Looking into the rest of the year, are you expecting that to play catch up or uh, this is more of a conscious of, uh, you know, effort by the company to degrow consumer durables and focus on everything else? Uh, so Samina, clearly in second quarter, we have a strong order book. Uh, we are looking to lose somewhere around 1 million units for second quarter, 1 million plus units. But overall, this industry is, is having an issue because the, the market for TV industry is not growing. So what we are doing as a, as, a, as a strategy is basically we are focusing more on backward integration. We are adding other product categories like uh, the interactive flat panel displays and display signages where we've already started manufacturing. And we are looking for partnerships on the, on the automotive displays and the industrial displays. But as far as the TV market is concerned, the TV market in India is not growing. In fact, it's on a declining trend. And our volumes are also reflective of the, uh, so there has been a degrowth de in the volumes. So my sense is, yeah, broadly, uh, yeah, they, they, they won't be a large amount of catch up, but definitely quarter two should be a, should, should be a, a good number for us uh, as far as TVs is concerned. Also, uh, sort of IT hardware and laptops uh, is the next big opportunity. And you already have Acer and Lenovo uh, for laptops. How has the accretion been for both? Uh, how's business looking there? And have you also received PLI certification in both of these? Uh, so uh, Acer, we have started manufacturing. So this is the first year under the PLI. And Lenovo, we will start manufacturing by Q3 of this financial year. Uh, we've also got two large global brands with us now. The agreements are in the final stages of conclusion and we should be able to announce to the markets very soon. And we should, we should start manufacturing from them uh, by, the, by the beginning of next financial year in our new campus in Chennai, uh, almost of 3 lakh square feet. And uh, my sense is, so we have been able to, within a short span of time, we have been able to get four large global brands out of the five brands. So it will be the next trigger for our growth. It will be the next engine for our growth after mobiles. And clearly from next year onwards, I think so, we should start generating decent revenues in that along with the component play. 
All right. Uh, well, a, a little bit more of an update when it comes to components uh, here as well. The next steps for you, uh, how are you looking at display modules? Uh, have you finalized HCL Tech as a partner? Uh, pardon me, HCL as a partner, and uh, what's the opportunity here? Yes, on backward integration, uh, clearly uh, we, have a, we, we are looking for a lot of partnerships. HKC is one such partnership on the display manufacturing. We are looking for another, we're looking for uh, more partnerships and they are in some form of a discussion on the precision component, mechanicals, uh, connectors, cables, uh, those kind of uh, components. And we hope to close those partnerships in the next six to eight months. Uh, so yeah, so this is definitely, uh, we, we the, the, the talent acquisition is in progress right now. We are hunting for a location right now for a display manufacturing, and which, which, which we should be able to close very soon. And by next financial year, we should start manufacturing this display. And again, I, as I said, these are high double digit margins for us. So it will really have a positive impact on the margin side, overall at a company level. And also it helps us to create that technical skill set, technical bandwidth internally, it all creates that extra mode in the business. So it creates that extra competitive strength uh, for us by getting more into competence here. So we completely take your point. And I think uh, you've uh, time and again mentioned that how it's, uh, and I guess the street understands as well, that diversification is important, but mobile phone still continues to be a very significant part of your business. Now with the dependency on your top three clientele on that, is there anything you're doing to mitigate risk? Because even the loss of one client could impact uh, the revenues of Dixon to quite a great extent, right? So help us understand what are you doing to mitigate those risks and also while you're focusing on higher value added uh, products, uh, margin outlook. So I know margins where they stand right now, but over the next one to two years, where do you see margins go to as you improve that product mix? Yeah, so one, uh, uh, clearly the mobile is the largest opportunity in terms of the opportunity pool available, mobile is the largest opportunity. Now, for us, the reason why we have done well in mobiles is on account of three factors. One, we have continuously taken higher share of wallet from our anchor customers. So whether it's the domestic volumes or the export volumes. Secondly, we have added more customers. So it completely de de the whole thing by having a dependency on, on few customers. So like we have now almost uh, five, six customers on the Android side and we have almost 55 to 60% of the total opportunity pool available with us on the Android market side. Uh, so clearly we have de -risk. So even if for some reason some customer doesn't do well, then they, 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 then it, it has a complete de-risk kind of a portfolio where the other customers continue to do well. And customer acquisition is a continuous process. We look to add more customers in the coming months as well. Uh, so my sense is that should not be a... Uh, a, a challenge as far as uh, uh, mobile dependency on few customers are concerned. As far as margin outlook is concerned, uh, clearly the more we get into components, uh, the margin uh, will continue to go up. So my sense is this year it should be broadly around 4% kind of levels, uh, slightly higher or marginally lower than 4%. But clearly we think that it can expand by 20, 30 bips by next financial year as our display uh, business comes into the system, uh, display manufacturing comes into the system, which is daily high double digit margins for us. And also the other, other components that we're targeting on the precision components and the mechanical side. All right. Uh, well, uh, Saurabh, a final question then. Um, a newer areas uh, at the moment that Dixon is looking at and perhaps focusing on? Yeah, so the biggest focus in the company is on the components. And the second thing is, of course, uh, which we think is a core for us is the PCBA. So we're looking for, uh, we're looking to manufacture for, we're looking for partnerships on the industrial side, automotive side. And the reason for setting up a campus in Chennai is we think that there's a large automotive hub there. Uh, so we are working with some brands. We are working also with a large global brand on the PCBA side. So the, again, that objective is to get into some high margin businesses as well. And that is also a core for us. PCBA is a core for us here. One last question before we have to let you go. Budget reduced custom duty on mobile PCB to 15% from 20%. How will this uh, impact a company like yourself? Uh, is there any sort of medium term impact, anything that you are factoring in that now has of course taken a setback on back of this or changed on back of this changes in custom duty? So my sense it doesn't move the needle for us uh, because clearly we see that the mobile phones sold and consumed in India will be manufactured in India. 
uh, there, there's still a big arbitrage on Indian manufacturing as against imports. And on top of it, there is also a PLI incentive. So I don't see these are, uh, this this would any duty reduction on whether on 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 the CBO of, of mobiles or or the PCBA uh, it will have any kind of impact. Uh, clearly, the Indian industry uh, and so is the case with Dixon is we are requiring a scale. Uh, we have a large scale now, and the idea is now get into uh, components to create that extra mode in that business. So we think uh, uh, the. Indian phones will always be manufactured in India. In fact, in some categories, India will continue to export as well. Yeah. We leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us and well, taking us through the company's earnings as well as what we can expect going forward. Well, that's the management of Dixon Technologies. The stock, of course, is uh, uh, continuing uh, to advance in today's day of trade. <laughs>